You gotta know how to survive out here. As you can see, that's the spotted North American freshwater turtle. Some might call it a painted turtle. They get up on the little ledges there and they bask in the sun. They have great hearing. Did you know that? You can hear us breathing right now. Turtles have great hearing. They don't have ears though. They have pockets on the side of their head that they, uh, they use to hear vibration. I know a lot of stuff about animals. And, uh, that turtle's dead. All right, you go down this way and then through there. Looks like some kids are coming down here and having drinking parties. I wonder why I wasn't invited. like a body. <laughs> yeah, I think we should go the other way. I've heard stories. Men have come out here, haven't come back. Other stories, men have come out here, been missing for days. They come back so delirious they don't even know their own wives. Hold on, let me let me do this. Here, let me get to a, an angle. Here, give me your hand. Give me your hand, I'll bring you up. I'll bring you up. Still, it was worth it for the view, isn't it? <laughs> that line stands for civilization. I don't cross it. A lot of people need paved roads. A lot of people need fancy cars. I don't need none of that. Don't get me wrong, I love the fields and I love the ponds just as much as I love anything else, but Enough's enough, we have to go out into the great wilderness. We have to go when my heart screams and my soul bleeds. You bastard. You fucking bastard. Okay, let's go out to the wilderness. It's a fork in the road, Chris. Do you take the road well-traveled? Do you go down where every other sap who comes here goes to see the birds and then the trees and all that? You go down the road, road less traveled. You go down the one where the real men go. Where you separate the men from the mice. I think you know my decision. Let's do it. <laughs> Back in the 1800s, they used these woods for sex parties. Um, you can still find the skeletons uh, in sexual positions sometimes. Uh, sometimes I touch them and sometimes I'll put clothes on them. Take off the clothes they already have on them. Pioneers called this the Cachote Trail because in Indian it meant orgy sex trail. You know, 300 years ago, I could have walked up to those people and killed them cold blood. Nothing would have happened to me. I would have said they were invading my, my personal space. Nothing would have happened. I, would have been, I wouldn't have been tried. I wouldn't even gone to a courtroom. I wouldn't even been questioned. I like to come out here at night sometimes and take off all my clothes. Jump in for a dive. I don't need you marked up. But the good kind, you know?
not it's not all fun and games. You gotta know how to come out here. You gotta know how to survive. You gotta know. You gotta know the blues from the greens. You gotta know the different kind of leaves. You gotta know all that. You gotta know what berries you can eat. You gotta know what what kind of animal will take you under its wing or which one will just tear you in half without even thinking twice. All right, we gotta go. Oh, beavers built this, by the way. I don't know if you want to cross this bridge, Chris. This is the last bridge to civilization, to your sanity, Chris. Last person to step foot across that line were Indians back in the uh, 1800s, just, just before the breakout of the Civil War. Uh, some say that they conjured up spirits which made uh, America fight itself, but uh, I think it's a bunch of hogwash. I think the Indians are really trying to make peace, but the man couldn't do it. We were going to go to war, it was inevitable. They say if you move any of those logs, you get haunted by the spirits of the Indians. There's no drinkable water out here. My last canteen went about an hour and a half ago. Yeah, like I said, you watch out for the blue and the... It's some... Shh. Get down. Get down right now. You heard that, didn't you? He probably didn't. You don't have the ear. I do. I also have the sight. On right now. Uh, I don't want to say this so soon, Chris, but we might have to resort to cannibalism. Put down the camera, it's not even important anymore. Put it down. Chris, my leg's broken. You're gonna have to go on without me. I won't make it out of here. You have a life. You got friends. You got everything you want. Yeah. No. Let me have one more. Please. 